Today we explore whether the US dollar is losing its global dominance. International Monetary Fund data reveals that the US dollar's dominance as the world's primary reserve currency is slowly eroding. Central banks are diversifying their reserves, turning to non-traditional currencies such as the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar and Chinese yuan. This shift is driven by the desire for the benefits of diversification and the ease with which these funds can be traded due to new digital technologies. Some speculate that geopolitical tensions may further accelerate the decline of the dollar's reserve status. However, data suggests this trend is broader than just a few large reserve holders and includes major economies across the G20. China has actively promoted the internationalization of its currency, but the UN's share of global reserves has stalled recently. Financial sanctions imposed by the United States have influenced reserve management decisions. Central banks have shown a modest shift away from currencies vulnerable to sanctions, favoring assets like gold instead. The IMF notes that the decline of the dollar's dominance is a gradual process, not a sudden drop. This de-dollarization trend is driven by factors like yield, technological advancements, and the potential for geopolitical disruptions. Recent sanctions by the US limited Russia's access to its own dollar reserves. This made them realize relying on a currency controlled by a potentially unfriendly nation might not be the best idea. But hold on, this isn't just about Russia, there's a whole trend of countries wanting less dependence on the US dollar and global finances. It's important to note that large reserve holders like Russia and Switzerland aren't the only ones driving this shift. Diversification is happening across major economies. Russia's de-dollarization strategies. 1. Embracing the Yuan. China's currency the Yuan is getting stronger. Russia's been buying more Yuan and even storing its oil and gas money in it. China's a big trading partner too so it makes sense to explore this option. 2. BRICS. Buddies. BRICS stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. These countries all want to be less reliant on the dollar. Russia's been working with them to see if they can create a whole new reserve currency. Thanks for joining me. Let me know in the comments what you think about de-dollarization. Will the dollar stay king, or will there be a new currency champion? For the latest updates on global economic trends, subscribe to our YouTube channel.